Morning, my friends. I got something interesting in the pendulum swinging back the other way. That's our wisdom. That's our mystery school stuff. And it's perfect. In the post, I just posted the Corpus Hermeticum for everybody. And that's where you really learn about this pendulum swinging. You see, I forget how long it is. It's like four hours or six hours. After you get, let's say it's six hours. After you get six hours of the Corpus Hermeticum and all of it is the pendulum swinging back and forth. And um, it's not like it disguises the words. It's literally talking about the pendulum swinging back and forth for about six hours. You also will be extremely educated in this pendulum swinging back and forth. The rhyme and the reason to planet Earth itself. So if you ever thought that I was talking about uh, when I talk about the pendulum swinging, if you thought that I was talking about that in the terms where the world talks about it, no, the world doesn't know what they're actually talking about, and they're just repeating sayings, and they're right, as they don't know the origin, is actually the Corpus Hermeticum. Anytime anybody's talking about the pendulum swing, and it's one of these things that does it for itself. It, this, it, it makes me feel like, we're um, Generation X doing Gen X things because that's what our world was made up of, teaching us the unintuitive things. Within this hour, so this is sort of breaking news here within our organization on a story that has garnered significant uh, attention and criticism. And what I'm going to do now, to be very clear, is read the entire update uh, from NBC Universal News Group Chairman Cesar Conde. Oh, we get the ad right when we need it. Right when we need it not to be an ad. They had an insurrection and overthrew, overruled what the CEO of NBC News decided. He goes on to write that no organization... Particularly now they're doing what's most classic out of all of history. Of course, they're eating themselves. That's what this ideology, this mental illness, NPD, um, Nazism... It eats itself, of course, but it does it for itself for us because now they're biting the hand that feeds them and they're going to go after their own bosses and claim, and that's what's happening, guys. They ran an insurrection, which I think it's a lot easier to understand if we call it a coup. We, we pretend that um, a coup is something that happens in other countries or something. So identically to in all my videos, when I go, they ran a coup on the United States president, Donald Trump. Now, of course, they're doing exactly the same thing, which is 100% predictable. You'll learn that from the Corpus Hermeticum. There's a rhyme and a reason to the way that you think. There's a rhyme and a reason to the ideas that you come up with and how they spawn endless paradoxes, how it will all come back to bite you in the ass in the end. That's the that's what we would call the order of things, the natural order. It's beyond human control. There actually is a rhyme and a reason to things. There is an order. And when you go against it, well, I mean we can all figure out what's going on. We can figure out how all this works. It's all been told thousands of years ago. Oh, of NBC News decided. He goes on to write that no organization, particularly a newsroom, can succeed unless it is cohesive and aligned. Over the last few days... Aligned with the Marxist Party. Of course, get rid of any dissenting voice. It has become clear that disappointment undermines that goal. I mean, what's next? Is he going to apologize for hiring too friendly of a Republican? I, I, I can't take Mark Dice anymore, though. I, I bet you guys can't either, even if you try to watch Mark Dice like I'm doing right now. I'm making a... I'm trying. I'm trying. Isn't it hard after all the Mystery School videos you've seen and how much you yourself has grown? And a lot of you won't even notice it. <clears throat> You'll notice that you've grown a lot when... You can't take the John Stewart, Stephen Colbert of Mark Dice. Like Mark Dice, he really, uh, he, he, he's appealing to the mentally ill. 
He's appealing to the people that think everything's a hypocrite and everyone's chuckling and Mark Dice really appeals to the mental illness. Just a bunch of chuckling dumb shits that want to slander, blackmail, and extort each other. And with, with Mark, I'm sure with Mark Dice's fans, it never matter, mattered if anything was real or not. They're just pitchforks and torches and identical to like the flat earth people. Yeah, with the flat earth people, you also better go along with everything they say as the none of them are on the same page at all. That's the Democratic Party. None of them are the same mental illness, same mechanic, same thing. It's identically the same thing. Republican perspective during election coverage. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? I know. I know. It's almost, it's impossible to handle. Mark, remember when you used to be? identical to mark dice see that's how you know you 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 don't hate yourself like you used to you know all this stuff that mark dice is doing that's the formula for how we used to hate ourselves all of this shit is how you hide everything from yourself you lie to yourself about everything and then you become one of these chuckling fucking moronic imbeciles that wants to kill yourself while you think you're fucking great at these chuckling fucking morons the news chairman continues to say quote i want to personally apologize to our team members who felt we let them down while this was a collective recommendation by some members of our leadership team i approved it and take full responsibility for it says so they're starting to cancel their own bosses conde the chairman Meme maker Grand Old Memes put together this gem showing the Republican Party giving her the boot and her being welcomed by MSN. <laughs> Only to be, well, as you can see, gotten rid of. And I don't keep up with any of this stuff, guys. I guess this is, you probably know more about it than I do. This is some woman that was in, like, the Republican Party, then I don't even know, left the Republican Party, and then they tried to make her part of M MSNBC and then all the N MSNBC people did their um, discrimination, their illegal. These are the people that, that, that control your workplace. The, the only reason I've never, I'm a construction worker, so I don't know about HR departments. I don't know about all this shit, but you guys probably have jobs where you have HR departments not, and um, it's literally, the only reason that shit exists is because of places like MSNBC. They control the narrative of reality. All that shit gets implemented because they establish these narratives. And your workplace is really controlled by all of this. These are the most depraved fucking people. These are the people that break all of the laws. These are the discriminators. It's weird how they think that you're guilty of their crime. They really affect your real life while they break all of these things that they've implemented over your life. This is a woman who never would have been hired by the RNC if the party hadn't been hijacked by rhinos. A woman who was proud to have a big tent party that doubled the LGBTQ people in the Republican Party. Happy Pride Month, she tweeted, because today the Republican Party has veered so far left that it's further to the left today than the Democrat Party was under Obama. Meanwhile, in Russia... Oh, they absolutely. Absolutely. ...just added the Rainbow Movement to the list of extremist and terrorist organizations, showing that Russia's not all bad Donald Trump I know I know I watch um, videos of um, Russia deporting everybody uh, videos of a lot of countries deporting everybody I love it need more of that true social wow Ronald McDaniel got fired by fake news NBC she only lasted two days and this you, you know what's you know what's funny when we talk about deporting everybody old Nancy Pelosi stood up recently saying but those are our slaves. She literally said it. She literally, all, uh, when I say it in all the videos, I, I say it's not the black people, guys. It's the Mexicans. The Mexicans are in modern day slavery, indentured servitude. 
is what the Mexicans are in in California. We would somehow pretend that there's this black thing because everybody truly knows that there's still slavery, the same slavery that's gone on. There's no difference. You think that we live in these modern times. There's not even a great span of time between any of these things. So literally, literally, what we used to have for the black people, the slavery for the black people, it's just changed into the Mexicans. Identically, identically. You you might say, if you came here to California and looked all at all the Mexicans picking our food, you'd say, no, that they have jobs. I would say, you don't understand slavery of the past. You think slavery of the past is about beating and whipping slaves? No, pe mentally ill people did that. Um, slavery is more of an indentured servitude thing because you need your slaves to be healthy. You try to make your slaves as healthy as you can so that they can produce all the... It's the same as the Mexicans. You pay them below minimum wage so that they can survive. It's called indent... It's how to do slavery. Slavery isn't beating your slaves. You need your slaves to produce. Your slaves are like your assets. Daniel went out of her way to say what they wanted to hear. It leaves her in a very strange place. It's called Never Never Land, and it's not a place you want to be. These radical left lunatics are crazy. And yeah, Nancy Pelosi stands up and goes, but then who's going to pick the food? We, that's why we have all these immigrants, because it's the indentured servitude slavery. But NBC are weak. They were broken and embarrassed by low ratings, highly overpaid, supposed talent. Bring back the free and fair press. Make America great again. And speaking of true social So I just wanted to have fun with that, do a little banter, shoot the shit with everybody. And the real meat and potatoes of all this is, yeah, go to the Corpus Hermeticum that I just did a um, post on and listen to that and gain some great wisdom of the rhyme and the reason of planet Earth. Don't get it confused as spiritual things too much. It's the rhyme and the reason of the pendulum swinging on planet Earth. Much love to everyone.